Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My amendment is simple and straightforward. It establishes a parent's bill of rights for our service members with dependent children attending DODEA schools. This amendment provides America's service members, those who we send overseas and on deployment, with the right to be informed and involved in their children's education. While serving our country, we must ensure that our men and women in uniform are empowered to have the same involvement with their children's education as American citizens across the country. Parents are the primary stakeholders in their children's education, and decades of research shows that parental involvement is critical to academic achievement and long-term success. Unfortunately, we know that service members are feeling less empowered when it comes to their children's education. According to polling done by DODEA, among service members with children attending DOD schools, there has been a 15% drop in parents who believe their involvement in their children's school is welcome and encouraged. This is data since 2017. A parent's bill of rights for service members will not only encourage parental involvement in their kids' education, but provide transparency so parents can see for themselves what their children are being taught in schools and determine if it is developmentally appropriate for their children and aligned with high academic standards. It also protects service members' right to speak up and be heard, providing them opportunities to engage with the school board or advisory committee about the education their kids are receiving and helping them develop a, a relationship with each of their children's teachers during the school year. It also includes notification requirements of parents of any medical examinations or screenings. America's men and women in uniform already face extraordinary burdens while serving our country for months and years long deployments away from their families. The unavailability of adequate childcare at installations across the globe to the lack of employment opportunities for military spouses. Simply put, parents in uniform have more obstacles than most are aware of. So it's our responsibility to look out for them and their children as they are constantly on the lookout for us protecting our national security. I urge all of my colleagues to support this very straightforward amendment, and I yield back. Representative yields back. Uh, uh, the chair recognizes uh, Representative Speer for three minutes. I'm gonna make this short, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I stand in strong opposition to the amendment. It, the provisions include other rights that already exist for parents of students within DOD schools, but includes them again to hide the nefarious provisions leading to book bans, intolerance, and removing the possibility of open dialogue. Specifically, DODEA has several parent handbooks online addressing topics such as privacy, medical info, grading and curriculum information, parent-teacher conferences, and the handling of violence in schools. There's been a movement in some locations to ban books and restore accurately depict history, differing experiences of Americans, or encourage the free discussion of ideas. Fear-mongering that our children are incapable of having a free and open discussion about varying topics in school um, is, is truly reprehensible. And I know this is one of the talking points on, of my colleagues on the other side. It does not belong in the NDAA, um, nor its head in the DODEA schools. I yield back. Representative California yields back. The chair recognizes Representative from Missouri, um, Representative Hartzler, for three minutes. Thank you. I support this amendment, and I want to thank Representative Stefanik for offering it today. Last year, I wrote a letter to the Department of Defense, which I have still not received a response to, expressing deep concern that DODEA teachers were assisting with gender transitions without parental consent and even intentionally withholding information from parents. And this could be done through changing records at school, using different pronouns when addressing a student, changing names in the classroom record books, or calling a student by a different name. Parents are in the best position to walk with and guide their children through difficult questions. And it is imperative that DODEA policy ensure the rights of parents are not violated. On July 16th of 2021, an article entitled why are Defense Department schools transitioning students' gender behind parents' backs was published in the Daily Signal. The article provides information from the 2021 Dodeo Equity and Access Summit in which several moderators suggested that for some children, parents do not need to know about the student's preferred identity in school. Changing a child's gender is an issue be hidden from parents. Teachers simply are not qualified to walk with other people's children 
through many ethical and medical decisions parents and doctors must consider. Schools cannot become a place where parents are left in the dark while teachers make these decisions for their children. I am concerned that the Department of Defense is not protecting the parental rights of service members whose children attend Odea schools, most of which are serving our nation abroad. Military members and spouses make countless sacrifices to keep our nation safe. We should not force them to sacrifice their relationship with their children. I urge supports of this amendment, and I yield back. Um, I would note that the clock didn't reset and start at 147, and you do technically have a minute and 13 seconds left, in fairness. I support this amendment. I yield back. Okay. Just want to be fair. Chair recognizes Representative of California, Mr. Carbajal, for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm going to be supportive of this amendment because I think, simply put, it's just having parents uh, have the right, as you do with PTAs, an opportunity to give input. Uh, I heard Representative Hartzler, with all due respect, go off on some tangents that are not included in here. Uh, CRT, banning books, the usual rhetoric that I hear from my colleagues on the other side is not in this amendment. This is simply, as I read it, just to give parents the right to be able to give input and have a say on their children's education. That's what we do in the civilian world. That's what I expect in my neighborhood, in my schools. So as long as it abides by what's in this amendment, which is really clear, I'm supportive of this amendment. Now, if there's motives that are, as are being suggested by some of my colleagues that are speaking on this, that it goes over and beyond what's in here, then I'm opposed. But as long as it's what's in here, I can be supportive of this. But definitely not all that cuckoo stuff that I'm hearing. Thank you very much. I yield back. Is there any further debate? Hearing none, all those in favor will say aye. 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 Opposed? No. no? No. I request recorded vote. Recorded vote is requested.